Why are so many young EVs already off the road? Freedom of information data exposes a pattern. I've got hold of a freedom of information response that I don't think was ever meant to tell a story, but it does. On the surface, it's just a table rows, columns, fuel types and dates. But when you actually read between the lines, it reveals something very uncomfortable about electric cars, hybrids, and what's really happening once the novelty wears off. This isn't about scrappage. It isn't about old bangers. This is about young cars quietly disappearing off the road. And why? This freedom of information request shows cars that have been declared sawned within the first six years of their life, broken down by fuel type, and crucially, the average age of the car when it went off the road. Now let's be very clear, sawn does not mean scrapped. It just means taken off the road. It means not taxed, not insured, not being used. which raises a very simple question. Why would a relatively new car be parked up and taken off the road? Let's look at petrol and diesels. They seem to display a normal pattern, a normal buyer behavior pattern. If we look at the average age when these cars go sawn, petrol, six to 8,600 days. Diesel, 3,000 to 5,000 days. That's 15, 20, or even 25 years old. This is exactly what I'd expect. These cars are sawn because they're not worth repairing. The MOT will cost more than the car's worth. They're not worth insuring. Your insurance is more than your car. Owners park them up or wait to scrap them. That's end of life behavior. Nothing unusual. Nothing dramatic. Now let's look at EVs. This is where the story changes. Pure electric cars. Huge increase in sawn vehicles year after year. But the average age collapses. The sawn vehicles are getting newer. By 2024, EVs are being sawn at around 1,500 days old. That's just over four years. Let that sink in. Three, four, five times earlier than the petrol. These EVs aren't old. They're not obsolete mechanically. You can still get spares for them. And they're often still under finance agreements. Sometimes still under battery warranty. Yet they're being taken off the road. That is not normal life cycle behavior. Just like the selling patterns not normal buyer and seller behavior. This isn't normal life cycle behavior. It's economic failure. Now, since hybrids have been included as flexibilities to the ZEV mandate, they're following the same path. Hybrids used to look safer, but the freedom of information request shows hybrid sawn volumes are exploding too. The average age of sawn vehicle is falling sharply. And it's now under 2,000 days. They're being parked up earlier and earlier. Why? Why? Because they've got battery complexity, EV style depreciation, I style servicing costs, and EV servicing costs. Hybrids are now suffering from the worst of both worlds. So why are young EVs being sawned? The data doesn't tell us motives, but in my opinion, the pattern does. Here are the most likely reasons. One, residual value collapse. Owners park their car up, hoping that prices will recover and then they'll be able to sell them and not lose so much money.
Two, battery anxiety, out of warranty, off the road. Three, insurance write-offs, minor damage, plus low values, uneconomic to repair. They stay off the road. I wish they all stayed off the road, to be honest, but that's a story for another vlog. Four, finance disputes. Cars paused during VT, voluntary termination. Defaults or disputes. When you get to 50% of everything paid, you can send them back to the finance company. Five, no second buyer. Too risky to sell, too costly to keep. This is not EVs lasting longer. This is people cutting their losses, getting out, getting out of Dodge. The key, in my opinion, is this. Petrol cars are sawn when they're worn out. EVs are sawn when they're financially worn out. That's the pattern. This freedom of information request quietly contradicts EVs hold their value. EVs last longer. Once you go electric, you never go back. The manufacturers are going to hit the ZEV mandate, or as the Climate Intelligence Unit says, are on track to hit the ZEV mandate. Instead, it shows a growing pool of young, unwanted EVs, not scrapped, not sold, just parked. Ah, Baz, but look on Autotrader. There's 26,000 used EVs for sale, going up all the time. This week, used EVs for sale on BCA have doubled. All the cars aren't just on Autotrader. Dealers don't advertise everything on, on Autotrader. It's all the other cars as well. But you see, it's not. Because those vehicles on the yellow slip will be ticked. Dealer hands, trade hands. We don't sawn them. We just put them into trade hands. Sawned EVs aren't to be used on the road. So, no. The ones that are for sale, those are even more. Don't kid yourself that the ZEV mandate is working, that we're on track to hit the ZEV mandate target, that EVs are a fantastic runaway sales success. They are not. The DVLA data proves it. It's not success. It's a massive warning sign. Now, I'm not anti-EV, but I am anti-nonsense. Anti-EV layers. Anti-EV shills. Anti-EV myth information. And when government policy, marketing claims and real-world behaviour don't line up, we should talk about it, not listen to the crap that these EV mouthpieces are feeding you constantly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments. Why do you think so many young EVs are already off the road? Would you risk buying one out of warranty? And as always, please like, subscribe, hype if you're on a mobile and share because the data tells a very different story to the headlines that you're reading. And I'm here to point out where they're wrong. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.